Welcome, Ali Smith here in the bag, 2024. Ready and go. Let's just jump right into it. Right off the bat, I've got the Praxis by Thought Space. It's a throwing putter. Really holds any angle I'm gonna be putting it on. Really reliable for me. Of course, the Discraft Zone. Forehand, backhand, approach disc, stable, money. I'm gonna be throwing this Tomb, the Infinite Tomb, all year long. This is in an eye blend. I also really like the S blend. It even has some Halo that I'm enjoying. Backhand, forehand, turnover, touchy. Uh, I can really kind of make this disc do what I want it to do. Amazing, love this disc. I will be putting with the Gateway Wizard. Right here I've got the Dave Felberg Firm Putters. These are pretty stiff. It's, it was exactly what I was looking for. As an amateur, I putted with Wizards, and so now being at a, an open mixed bag, can't wait to put these in the basket. Moving to a little faster, my mid-ranges, I have three in the bag. These are all Thought Space. Got the Erica Stinchcomb Mana. Oh, and I think I said it wrong, Mana. This is a pretty understable disc, but in the glow plastic, has a little, a little stability at the end. Uh, it's not gonna just roll over for me personally. I have two Pathfinders in two different plastics. I've got the Aura, a little B there, and the glow plastic. This Aura is a little straighter for me. Uh, glow's a little more stable, but both reliable mid-ranges that I can depend on in really any situation. Moving up to fairway drivers. This is my bread and butter. I'm really a natural hyzer flip thrower. So these are kind of pretty understable for most people. First off the bat, I've got a brand new Blackout from Doomsday Discs. Shout out to Infinite for hooking me up with these. Like hot off the press, brand new, some pretty crazy looking swirly discs. This is a pretty understable, like a negative two one in the turn to fade. Perfect for hyzer flip, uphill shots. It's, it's amazing. James Proctor has given me an s -Blend used Centurion. This is more like a six or seven speed, but still same uh, fairway driver, more like a straight pushing. Um, because he's seasoned it for me a little less stable than it would be naturally. This is my mantra, very flippy disc, but I have got him in three varying stabilities. Very understable is the Geisha face, all clear. That's a, it's a roller, but it's perfect for me, especially throwing uphill. This is amazing for that slot. More of a neutral, but still understable disc. The mantra in the Nebula Aura plastic. This is the one I'm reaching for most of the time. I feel I've got the most control of it while still being understable in its true flight. And the last uh, mantra I call the Nantra is the Aura Mantra. I, the first time I threw it, it didn't flip at all, kind of stabled out, but now it's kind of seasoned in and worked into its natural turning and panning out at the end. Still a little stable at the end though. So we still got fairways, but just moving up into stabilities. I have two Votums. Thought Space Votum, the Nebula Aura Plastic, perfect for the straight to overstable finish at the end. The Nebula Aura is a little straighter for me, and the Ethos Plastic, kind of your see-through transition plastic, a little more stable, uh, a lot more bite at the end for me personally. A little quarter stamp there from Thought Space, so the Votum. So I've got two discs that I generally just reach for, the forehand, and this one has got a, might be a hard stamp to see, the gold Aztec here. It's got the Ali Smith stamp from Infinite. Brand new, it's just stoked to have this. Great for my Heiser Flip forehand, and it really will push and have some stability at the end. And we've got the Team Infinite Eric Oakley Scepter. Pretty overstable, something I needed in the bag. Proctor and uh, Chandler were telling me that I was missing this slot. I need something that's going to be able to put on an Annie Chop, Anheuser Chop forehand and still fade back at the end. And now we're moving on to my high-speed drivers. The most understable thing I'm rocking with in terms of like 13, 12 speed is the iBlend Faro. 
I can really trust to throw this flat and it will get some turn straight out of the hand, but still finish a little bit if it's got the, the height and the speed to do so. My go-to high-speed driver for the backhand and the forehand is the Luster C-Blend Faro. It's got a lot of push and glide for me in the backhand and as well as the forehand when I get a little hyzer flip and wants to pop and glide. This is going to be a mainstay in my bag all season long. I can't wait to throw this. So those Faros do have a bit of turn, like fresh out of the box, but I need something a little more stable just to like trust that it's not gonna turn over in a win. I'm stepping up to the Thought Space Synapse. This is in a glow plastic. It really does have some good glide though, brand new. It isn't as overstable as it may perceive to be. It's a step up more stable than the Faro, but it isn't completely um, a meat hook or overstable. It's a good middle disc between the Faro and the Emperor, the Infinite Emperor. Most people on Team Infinite are throwing an Emperor and you've got a great pop top on almost all of these. I can trust these are not going to turn over for me. It doesn't get me a ton of distance like the Faro is, but it's gonna be a reliable disc. I've got two just because of um, extra practice. After winning the Kansas City Wide Open, sponsored by Grip Equipment, they graciously reached out to me and decided to sponsor me mid-year. So I've got the AX5 that I'll be rocking, this in teal. They've graciously sponsored me through last year and through this year. So I'm excited to be carrying this bag all season long. I've got a couple patches, gotta go to work. SpongeBob's gotta get up, he's gotta go to work. That's what we're doing every day. We're getting out, we're going to work on the disc golf course. We've got our pride flag here in the corner as well. Oh, we watched Jaws for the first time and we had to pick up the little Amity Island pin, so that's on there. Other things that are like necessity, you gotta have a water bottle, got the water bottle usually too, and of course some sort of retriever stick pole. The little uh, suction cup would be great, but I'm rocking with just a stick. We've got our little Thought Space Mini, and I think I might have a whale sack. No, I don't, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me on tour, please check out my sponsors, Infinite Discs, Thought Space Athletics, and Grip Equipment. There's going to be some amazing tour series and special items coming out, so please check them out. Thanks again.